the universe is a vast, mysterious place where at any moment, violent energetic events occur. Highly magnetic neutron stars called magnetars can generate some of the most powerful explosions found in nature. These explosions can release more energy than what's produced by the sun over 150,000 years and travel tens of thousands of light years through space and even reach our planet. In December 2004, a giant flare caused by the decay of a magnetar's massive magnetic field released powerful X-rays that momentarily lit up the Earth's atmosphere. Since the first magnetar was detected in 1979, fewer than 20 have been discovered, though hundreds of thousands are believed to exist in our galaxy. Here at the NSCL at Michigan State University, nuclear physicist Andrew Steiner analyzes the X-rays emitted during giant flare events to discover clues about a magnetar's composition. Using X-ray data generated from these flare events, we can link the oscillation frequency of the emitted X-rays to the type of nuclei that are found in a magnetar. During a giant flare event, a magnetar releases X-rays that pulse with various frequencies. Previous theories claim the 30 Hz signal represents the magnetar's crust, and the 20 Hz signal represents its core. Using an updated model, Steiner believes the numbers should actually be switched, with the 20 Hz signal representing the crust, and the 30 Hz signal representing the core. If his theory is correct, what we thought magnetars are made of may no longer be the case. We would expect magnetars to be made of different nuclei than originally thought, with fewer protons in the nuclei that form the crust. The finding can be used to develop equation of state functions that basically describe how pressure and density behave under extreme conditions, which can tell us more about the nuclear properties of stellar phenomena. Joining us by phone to comment is astrophysicist James Latimer of Stony Brook University. This kind of information is really important in many other aspects of astrophysics, for example, in looking at supernova explosions, uh, gravitational collapse of massive stars, and then of course there's feedback toward trying to understand heavy ion collisions as well. In addition to improving our understanding of what magnetars are made of, Steiner's findings may also lead to uncovering secrets about how neutron stars form in our galaxy.